Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a hobby tip video. Um, this is the first of its kind, hopefully not last. So these are, are going to be hopefully short videos where I go, th go through some of the um, tips and tricks of the hobby, um, hopefully sharing some of my limited knowledge on the topic. So for t tonight's video, I'm going to show you how I make my banners uh, for practically all the units models in my armies. So what I have here are two banners for my terracotta army, fully assembled um, and ready for paint. So I will show you step by step how to make these banners. Um, so let's just dive right into it. Hope you enjoy. To make the banners, I use plastic card. Uh, this is 0.1 mm thick. You can use thicker variants as well. Um, we'll talk about that later. You need to find a straight edge. Uh, the straighter, the better. That that edge I pointed to is from the um, uh, the manufacturing. So this is some uh, a nice big sheet of uh, plastic card. But you work from the edge, and you get straight, nice straight lines. Um, so here I start drawing the design on the plastic card. I'm using a an ink pen, red ink. <coughs> I would absolutely recommend to, uh, as you can see here, test out um, the drawing with the banner pole you're gonna use be using. Uh, my banner pole is made from a solid steel rod, but it, it, this method works with any banner pole. That's not really important here. Um, here you can see I, I made a little mark from the length of the, of the uh, banner pole, and then I uh, measure that up uh, to make sure I have the right length. Before you get to this stage, you really should try and uh, settle on a design of the banner. Um, you can draw it on paper or in Inkscape or other um, software, Photoshop, GIMP, uh, Illustrator, many different options um, to try and settle on a nice design. Um, it could be a good idea to print it out and cut it to size, draw it on paper and cut it to size uh, before you do this to uh, get a grip on the size of the banner and test it on your model. Um, You'll be surprised how easy it is to uh, make the banners too large uh, to look good on the on our tiny, tiny little, little models. So um, it's important to do some tests first to get a feel for it. Um, and the more banners you do, of course, the easier it becomes, but it's, it's not always easy to, to make mistakes uh, in this stage. The more, the more planning you do, the more testing you do, the better it is. Um, and that comes for all steps of the banner making, um, painting as well, uh, which will not be included in this video though. Um, but it, it, it ties into it though, uh, because you want to make sure that you have the right size for the motif you're sh choosing and all of that. So the, the, the clearer the plan you have, the better it is. So here we have the uh, final design draw, all drawn out on the plastic card. I do another test with the banner pole and then I start cutting. Uh, the video here, here is of course sped up I think by four times uh, every now and then. Um, not make it as tedious. I use some nice sharp uh, knife and I do multiple light cuts for every cut I do. Um, if you try to cut through the plastic guard in one go, you risk slipping with a knife and the plastic guard will shift under uh, under the knife because it's uh, so flimsy. So it's better to do in multiple uh, light cuts. Uh, though I don't always remember to do that myself, um, but you should try and do better than me uh, for sure. But um, yeah, that's an important detail. So 
take the banner out, do some final cleanup, and then we move on to the detailed stuff with the uh, long strips at the end of the banner. And here it's really important to do these light cuts, um, though I fail to do it sometimes, because here it's uh, the plastic is so flimsy, so you will just shy away from your knife unless you're really careful. Just move through it methodically and uh, you'll have your banner cut out in no time. And there we are, the banner is fully cut out. I, I move off camera for some reason. Um, there you can see. You can do some fi final cleanup um, and other tests with the banner pole. Again, this is really important. Keep doing it at every step of the way. Um, it's so easy to make mistakes. Some more cleanup of the edges. Um, you're gonna see, you take out the knife, clean it up. We can also grab a uh, file to um, clean up the edges. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. Um, you can feel with the fingers where the uh, roughness is, the fingers are good for that. And then finally you want to clean up the attachment point to the, to the banner pole, make that nice and straight. <coughs> then we move on to uh, the bending part, and in preparation for that we're going to attach the banner um, around the attachment point to the pole, because we want that to be perfectly straight, so we're going to uh, clamp down on that using a broken popsicle stick. Um, wood is good for this purpose. I will tailor that in a second. And then we clamp down with this, uh, I don't know what it's called, an office supply thing. Um, it, it clamps down nice and hard, securing the banner. So, that's the preparations complete. Moving on to the kitchen and the stove. <coughs> we have some boiling water here. Gonna need some pliers <coughs> and some tools to push with. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna submerge the banner in the water, and the water, which is boiling, it has to be boiling or at least close to boiling, will soften up the plastic and allow you to bend it. And this is where the um, attachment comes into play, as you can see. Um, you want to start with the uh, um, w with the bends closest to the banner pole, or the attachment point in this case, where you, you're clamping down on the ba banner, because as you're pulling it out of the water you will add uh, more and more bends in that direction. Uh, because every time you submerge the, the thing in the whole thing in water, it will straighten out every bend that you made. So working from the attachment point outwards uh, allows you to keep all the detail. But you can go back and forth as well, uh, so sort of cancel out what you've done before. So um, about the attachment point here, using the wooden uh, popsicle, this is a an important material to use. Uh, using plastic will just flims, be flimsy and bend away. Using metal will heat up too much and damage the plastic. Uh, the wood is perfectly straight uh, and it uh, distributes the weight the, of the clamping uh, force evenly on, on the plastic. So it doesn't harm the plastic, it doesn't heat up um, that much. So it's uh, the perfect thing for this. Here you can see I'm using the pliers to bend the plastic. I grab hold of one of the flimsy strings at the end of the banner and push and pull and drag and all of that. And this is sped up of course, but you can keep doing this for a while. Adding more flows and bends, uh, redoing and um, undoing and testing different methods. So <coughs> here I'm starting to be satisfied with the design. So. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this step. We will move on to 
my messy uh, table. Here it's detached from the uh, clamping and I go back with the file to make sure that this side is perfectly straight. Attachment point to the banner, uh, to the banner pole <coughs> with the file. Do some uh, yeah notice that the banner pole is uh, also not, not completely cleaned so there's some uh, residue on it. Cleaning that up with the file. Making sure you, you get a nice clean attachment point. So we're gonna grab the banner, do some dry fitting, like so. Uh, here you can see that the greatest freedom you have when determining the flow of the banner from the pole is at the attachment point. So when bending the banner, you can keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, we're gonna use some super glue here, run some of the edge of the banner. Uh, but as I said. The greatest freedom you have in, in the flow of the banner is, ban banner is at the attachment point. So we're gonna carefully attach it here. Um, so this can be a bit counterintuitive, but if you want your banner to flow away from the head here, as, as you can see, you do the first bend of the banner in the opposite direction, because then you can uh, fix it with the attachment point. Um, don't know if that makes sense. But you attach the banner with super glue like this. Um, let it dry for a li little bit. And I'm sure there's a, there are other brands of super glue you can use. I use this one because it's cheap and uh, uh, readily available wherever I shop. Um, and then we're gonna grab my, a sculpting tool and attach some super glue to the tip of it uh, just to help us apply it. And we're gonna run it down the attachment point here, uh, letting the, uh, the super glue flow into all the little cracks to fill out and attach, secure the banner. Um, so, and we do some tissue to clean up any excess. Then we will move on to green stuffing, appeared out of nowhere. And here the um, purpose is very simple, we're gonna speed this up a lot because this t took a lot of time for me uh, in real time, um, annoyingly, but uh, it was difficult to stay on camera as you can see, so that added to the time. But what we're doing here is we're creating the impression of an attachment point to the banner and at the same time actually helping secure the banner to the pole um, like in, in physically um, because we get a greater contact area so <clears throat> here I'm mimicking the uh, strips flowing from the end of the banner so I'm doing four attachment points uh, where the banner is like lapped around the banner pole uh, you can do the whole thing um, and you can do other designs as well. It all depends on the type of banner design you have. If you do more of a standard, um, so uh, the design like hanging from the banner top sort of thing, um, you attach attach the banner to the side of the pole instead, uh, giving you a much greater contact area. So that's always nice. And then and then you work from there instead. Uh, lapping around the top. I will show some different banners that I made at the end of this video um, to give you an, uh, an idea of what you can make uh, with this method. So, as I said, um, keeping on the on camera was, was difficult with this one, but I just keep uh, working at the putty here, cleaning it, cleaning it up and um, smoothing it down. Um, I figured out afterwards that it would have been easier to cover the whole banner uh, with putty and then remove the parts that I wanted to, the banner pole to show through. But um, yeah, you did, you learn. Um, I did two of these, so um, I, I did that method on the second one. But it, it, it's, the, the end result is the same. Uh, it's uh, just a matter of what's the fastest. So, just keep cleaning this up. 
um, and eventually it would look nice, I think. You can use <laughs> the um, measurement tool to make sure, sure that they are the same size as the <coughs> strips flowing from the end of the banner. Some silicon tools to do the final softening up and um, cleaning. Making sure it's all nice and tidy. And here we are at the end with the final cleanup. There you have it. That's how you make banners like this. So here you can see the finished uh, green stuff work on both of my banners. And I also atta attached a small little banner top. You can use any banner top you like. I wanted a little spare tip on this. Um, keep it simple. So here's the other one. I can't even remember now which one I did the quicker, better method uh, of uh, green stuffing. Where I covered the whole pole and then cut off, off cut away the, uh, the parts that I need, needed to cut away. Um, I filed down the green stuff a little bit to smooth it out. Finally, um, that's a good little trick there. So these are ready for painting. Uh, now, if this was a properly made video, I would just stamp my fingers and show you the final product. Um, but I couldn't bother to wait that long to make this video, so instead I'm going to show you some other banners that I made. So let's put those to the side and bring this guy up into the frame. So here we have a banner for my undead army, for my Barrow Knights. And as you can see this is a similar type of banner attached to the side, uh, to the back of the banner pole and similar attachment points. So this is a very similar banner. Um, so just an example how it can look. Um, <clears throat> moving on to some more standards. Uh, you can take this guy. This is maybe the first banner that I did this method with. Um, so here we have the attachment point on the side of the banner pole. So you get a much larger attachment to the banner. Uh, or to the pole, which is very nice. And then you use green stuff to lap it around a bit. And these more feral banners, you can be a much more um, free in how you do it. So I just lapped it around a little bit and I glued some plastic bits to the top, uh, some nails, or something, uh, and some more wrappings and stuff with green stuff. So, very simple banner, easy to make. Uh, you have another stand standard variant here. Uh, same thing, it's attached to the side of the banner and then lapped around with green stuff, making it a very nice and secure hold. Um, like so. And you can also do stuff like this with a standard. Um, we have multiple smaller attachment points. It's done the same way. Uh, you m might need to be careful with the clamping down of the with the um, uh, popsicle, popsicles, <clears throat> uh, to make sure that you actually clamp down a little bit on the uh, on the um, full banner, not just the attach small attachment points. But same thing here, you attach those, glue those to the banner pole, and then you lap around with green stuff, create a nice secure bond, and make it look nice. So that's the long and short of it, I suppose. Let's just bring these two back into frame. Um, how you make nice looking banners. I want to talk a little bit about thickness of the um, of the plastic card. I use 0 0.1 millimeter, millimeters as I said. I, I'm pretty sure you can use thicker. I haven't really tried it. Um, it's going to get a little bit more difficult to bend. So you can't get perhaps quite as much flowy shapes as on these ones. But when making like standards, standards like this one, you don't really need that in any way. And the thicker 
plastic card should allow you to make banners that look a li little bit more like the injection molded plastic banners of say a games workshop kit so you can make it more similar to that if you want to um, it should also allow you to do some green stuffing on top of the banner if you want to cry um, try and create some uh, small folds in the banner. I tried that a little bit, didn't really like it, um, but you can you can experiment with that if you want. Uh, I also think that you could paint in the small fold, folds from the attachment points and stuff like that. Um, just Google images of banner, banners, maybe look at painted art of banners um, to see how it looks. Try and copy that using your brush. Um, but that's going to be all for now, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would uh, love to get some re um, uh, response on it, some comments, um, what I did well, what I can can improve. It's my first hobby tip video, hopefully not last. Um, let me know what you think, and if you have any ideas for things you've seen, you've seen me do on the channel that you want to um, get some um, details on. Uh, and I'll see if I can make a vid video of it. Um, so thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!